Oh, it's just Jorrid. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Little Nightmares video. Today, we're doing another fairy type video on the recently released teaser for the new Little Nightmares DLC, the third one. And I'm so excited for it. I think everyone is joining the hype train at the moment. And we finally got a name for the DLC. Now, unfortunately, it isn't the Eerie like I wanted it to be or predicted it to be, which is sad for me, I suppose, but not for anyone else. So what is it called? It's called The Resident. So today I'm going to tackle the teaser, see if I can decode it, see if I can get some more theories from it or any of the ideas I had previously. Does this teaser back them up? So we're going to take a look at them today and I just want to get right into it. And for example, I want to start with the name of the DLC. So like I said before, the actual name of the DLC is The Residence. Now, if we take a look at the name and what it's what it means in definition for a residence, it's as follows, quote, a residence is an establishment where it was originally or currently being used by a host as the main place of dwelling or home, end quote. So with this name, we can agree that we know that the library or where the main DLC is going to take place, we know it's gonna be the ladies' hangout or second home, for example. I like this far more than the ladies' quarters as I feel that the ladies' quarters wasn't a total reflection on the lady's character and who she was. If you look at the meaning of quarter, for example, it's as follows, quote, housing or accommodation as provided for military personnel and their families, end quote. So I think that the latest quarter level that would have been given to the lady by default for running the moor was somewhere she couldn't express herself, let's say, as a character. But in the library or the residence level, I think we're going to learn a lot more about the lady. Maybe different paintings, paintings that are going to tell a different story, rather than the paintings that are hung up in the latest quarters, for example. Also, something that I wish to mention about this is the timing of the chapter. Now, if you go back and watch another video I did mentioning that when Six has a fight or some like boss bit with the lady... I found it odd how she kept dipping in and out of a chase with Six and the possibility that she could be going back and forth from a fight through the runaway kid to a fight to Six. And this clarification has given the claim more credibility as with this we can actually see it fits somewhat into the timeline with her mass still being on and the actual release of the DLC in corresponding to Six's timeline. You see, remember the level select part of the Little Nightmares game where you select them? Um, this will fall just below and just before the end of Six's last chapter. Now that's a mouthful to say, but the basic gist of that is it falls perfectly in time just so that the lady is still alive and she could possibly be going back and forth from each fight so for my next point, I did want to mention how the lady was standing, or her stance. It should look familiar to you. Um, for a second, it took me to figure out where I saw it. But anyway, so if you couldn't remember, or you do remember, you'll know it's from the nightmare scene for Six. When we first start up Six's chapter, and it's doing that zoom-in thing, and the creepy sound effects, and the weird camera shake. And it's the lady turning round. Now I think this is the same pose. At first I thought it would have just been, you know, a reused pose. But I believe that has, it does have something to do with Six and um, predicting the event, maybe. But yet again, this idea is a bit of hit and miss. Because if you were to follow this one, then my previous claim wouldn't be true and vice versa. But the next piece that I want to talk about is probably the main piece of this video. This piece is the one that got me so hyped up I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw it. So, if you're looking at the teaser image for the next DLC chapter, now, if you're looking at Twitter, you won't see it because Twitter has a very nasty compression on images or whatever is uploaded via Twitter. It makes it really scrummy, blurry it's very hard to read but if you check out the little nightmares twitter if you look at facebook's version you can see on the right of the lady sort of where the lady is looking down there is a figure a shadow figure of some sort 
and to me it looks a bit like a girl it looks like this figure has a dress on and it's quite skinny so it's either one of the two things it's either the next girl in line to take the lady's place as a protege to the lady maybe or it's a doll that's come to life that the janitor made but i just find it so interesting how this could potentially be a new monster for us to face now even more so why has this one particularly got a mask on and this leads me to believe yet again like i said two, a few minutes back i believe this could be a protege to the lady but what gets me more excited as well as the fact that it's a new monster it unlocks loads more potential like is it one of those diverse things where the boys get turned into gnomes and perhaps the girls get turned into you know the watchers or the um governesses or whatever but what i like to think is who could it actually be in relations to our stories that we know of playing six playing the runaway kid now what i thought of straight away was all right well if it's going to be anyone that we're related to well i say related who's relevant to the story that we know who could it be who could we possibly see that would make sense fit in uh, make up for absence and it hit me and i think possibly that this shadow figure could be the runaway girl now if we take a few videos that i have made where i support the idea that the girl in the painting isn't six the height matches in the size of the head etc etc it matches the height of the runaway girl so in my mind i'm seeing the runaway girl being turned into a protege of the lady and that's where i think i'll end it there i am so excited for the next dlc it's going to be amazing there are going to be so many questions answered i think it's going to be a time an exceptional time to be a theorist of some sort because oh it's gonna get it's gonna get busy but i can't wait for the dlc we're gonna see some more gnomes we're gonna get some more helps from the gnomes we're probably going to get to run across a piano ourselves, being in the library and whatnot. Maybe get a book to read, you know. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I want to know what you think. What do you think you see in this teaser trailer? Uh, trailer? In this teaser image? Are you excited? Are you happy with the name The Residence? Does it make sense? Let me know what your thoughts. And always remember to like the video if you enjoyed it. And please hit subscribe if you want to support the channel. And I'll see you all in the next theory video. Peace.